Hello, welcome back. This is Calculus by Dr. Oz. Today we're going to find slope and concavity of uh, the curves uh, uh, given by uh, parametric or described by parametric equations. And, and finding slope and concavity was uh, one of the main themes of Calculus 1. Uh, and we spent a lot of time uh, to be able to determine the uh, slope and concavity uh, of, uh, of the given uh, functions written in the rectangular equation form, which is the standard form y equals f of x. And, and, and for that reason, uh, when we talk about dy over dx and d squared y over dx squared, in other words, the first and the second derivative of the function with respect to x, uh, uh, we somehow like uh, uh, have to convert those involving uh, uh, the parameter t here because dy over dx and d squared y over dx squared doesn't work if the equations are parametrized. So we have to find a, a equivalent version of, uh, of these uh, uh, first and the second derivatives in terms of uh, the parameter t. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And, and hopefully uh, we're going to get uh, uh, two pictures at the end. And one is uh, this one here for the, for the first uh, parametric equations. So we're given the point and we find a slope, and, and at that point we also find a concavity of the function. And as well, uh, we have the second uh, set of uh, equations that describe an ellipse, and we're going to find, uh, again, uh, the slope and the concavity at, at the prescribed point, uh, which in fact uh, is the point that relies on the x-axis. Okay, standing on the x-axis. All right, so uh, why don't we get started? I'm going to split this video into two parts, and, and you will see each case in, in split parts. All right. All right, let's stare at part A. Uh, we have x equals uh, t squared plus 5t plus 4, and y equals 4t, and we're looking for dy over dx, the first derivative of the function, and d squared y over dx squared. Uh, the second derivative of the function, uh, with respect to x, obviously. Uh, but the, the equations uh, provided to us here are both uh, parametric. So uh, we have to rely on uh, the formula for finding the uh, derivatives when, when the equations are parametrized. So let's start with part A real quick. So uh, dy over uh, dx, dy over dx can be written as dy over dt, dx over dt, because we don't really have the y equals f of x representation of uh, the function, so we have to rely on the derivatives of x and y with respect to t, the parameter. And this is a nice formula, in fact, because when you flip this over, by the way, just uh, out of your, I mean, just for your reference, um, so if you flip this over, this is dt over dx, and when you cancel the dt's, this is still dy over dx, okay? So this formula comes out of uh, dividing the top and the bottom by uh, dt, essentially, okay? So uh, once we have this set up, uh, and we can find dy over dt and dx over dt because uh, y and x are both functions of time, so or, or t, the parameter. Uh, so... Um, dy over dt equals 4, that's just the derivative of y with respect to t, and dx over dt equals 2t plus 5, okay? So this is the dy over dx, the first derivative of the function uh, with the parameter t. So now the question is, uh, how are we going to find d squared y over dx squared? In other words, this is d dx of dy over dx. I'm using all the Leibniz notation that we have seen in Calc 1. Here and that's very really helpful. If you do not remember this, please uh, revisit uh, Calc one uh, when we first introduced the derivative concept. Then we, we sort of like talk about that over over there. Okay, so d this is d dx dy over dx. Now I have uh, dy over dx written in terms of uh, t, uh, which is what I'm going to plug in next. But before doing that, what is this? This is d dx, and I don't have the function written in terms of x. So I'm going to modify this, and I'm going to write that d dt and dx dt, okay? So in other words, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to take the t derivative of uh, y, okay? T, t dy over dx. I mean. I'm going to take the uh, 
t derivative of dy over dx, which I know how to do that because I'm going to use the quotient rule for it. And in the bottom, we have dx over dt. Okay, so uh, let's do it. So let me just continue right from here. So I have, uh, I have, let's see, d dt dy over dx. Okay, so let's use the quotient rule. Uh, the derivative of 4 is 0, 0 times the bottom is 0, minus 4 times the derivative of the bottom, which is 2. Okay, all divided by, all divided by the bottom squared. Okay, this takes care of uh, the top of uh, d squared y dx squared. For the bottom, we, have, we need dx over dt, which is, which is an easy task. It's 2t uh, plus 5, okay? So if you do the division here, you can put 1 here, and then you can flip this over. So this becomes negative 8 divided by 2t plus 5 cubed, okay? And, uh, and, and, and let's, uh, so like graph, uh, uh, this uh, these like parametric equations and see like what kind of graph we have because we have dy over dx uh, for 2t plus 5 that tells us about the slope of the tangent line and d squared y over dx squared is telling us about the concavity of uh, concavity of uh, uh, the graph right and, and in fact in, in the question statement before we graph uh, we want all of those to be evaluated at t equals 0 Okay, so let's go back and evaluate those. Um, evaluate those at t equals zero. Here we go. So dy over dx. Let me just use a different color here. Uh, dy over dx at t equals zero is equal to uh, four over five, and d squared y over dx squared at t equals zero is 8 over 5 uh, cubed, which is minus 8 over uh, 125, okay? So let's let's go ahead and check um, the graph here. Uh, so uh, essentially, uh, I did the same strategy, but I don't put the table here. So I just got uh, uh, certain points uh, for, for the choice of different t values, and I, I tried to get a, get a good output of that. You can use your TA84 to get that. And don't forget to put the uh, uh, orientation on the curve. And apparently, apparently at t equals uh, zero, uh, t equals zero. So the point is x equals four, uh, y equals zero. Right? That's that's exactly what this point is. Let me just use a different color for it. So I'm talking about this point here. And and the question is asking like, what is the uh, slope of the tangent line at that point, that's dy over dx evaluated at t equals zero. And, and what is the concavity at, at that point? That's d squared y over dx squared evaluated at this point. This is all like Calc 1 skills applied towards uh, parametric equations, by the way. So slope of the tangent line and the concavity. And we got the slope to be uh, 4 over 5, positive slope, um, as you see. And, and, and the concavity is ne negative, so it's concave downward. Here we go, we got concave downward and a positive slope, so the tangent line is an increasing uh, line coming with a positive slope, okay? All right, so this takes care of uh, part A, and to continue to part B, please move on to my next video. All right, bye.